May I ask of you, where did you go to medical school? I did not go to medical school. I'm sorry. I did not go to medical school. That's what I thought. Why do you think you or anyone else at Twitter had the medical expertise to censor a doctor's expert opinion? Our policies regarding COVID were designed to protect individuals. We were seeing- You guys censored Harvard-educated doctors, Stanford-educated doctors, doctors that are educated in the best places in the world, and you silenced those voices. My next question is, did the U.S. government, oh, excuse me, I have another chart I want to show you, Ms. Gaddy. Um, I have another tweet by someone with a following of a full 18,000 followers. This person put a chart from the CDC on Twitter. It's the CDC's own data, so it's accurate by your standards. And you all labeled this as misleading. You're not a doctor, right, Ms. Gaddy? No, I'm not. Okay. What makes you think you or anyone else at Twitter have the medical expertise to censor actual, accurate CDC data? I'm not familiar with these particular situations. Yeah, I'm sure you're not. But this is what Twitter did. They labeled this as inaccurate. It is the government's own data. It's ridiculous that we're even having to have this conversation today. It's not just about the laptop. This is about medical advice that expert doctors were trying to give Americans because social media companies like Twitter were silencing their voices. I have another question, my last one for you, Ms. Ty uh, Ms. Gaddy. Did the U.S. government ever contact you or anyone at Twitter to pressure Twitter to moderate or censor certain tweets? Yes or no? We have a program. Did the U.S. government ever contact you or anyone at Twitter to censor or moderate certain tweets? Yes or no? We receive legal demands to remove content from the platform from the U.S. government and governments all around the world. Those are published on a third-party website and anyone can review Thank them. God for Matt Taibbi. Thank God for Elon Musk for allowing to show us in the world that Twitter was basically a subsidiary of the FBI, censoring real medical voices with real expertise that put real Americans' lives in danger because they didn't have that information. I also want to thank one of my colleagues, uh, Ro Khanna, because it, as it turns out, censorship isn't just an important issue to conservatives. Some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, like Ro, uh, found this censorship very concerning um, and even wrote to you and to folks at Twitter. Um, that uh, he was concerned about the First Amendment being censored. So I want to thank him for speaking up and speaking out about this issue um, because this is not, this should not be a, a partisan issue. This should be an issue that's an American issue. Mr. Chairman, I would like to enter into uh, the record, I ask unanimous consent, to enter into the record a Wall Street Journal article from December 9th, 2022 by Justin Hart entitled, The Twitter Back Blacklisting of Jay Bhattacharya.